So this is Botrytis. This uh, purple color we are looking for, and also the Botrytis itself uh, can be seen over there and here as well as it is developing day by day. But mostly to become as concentrated as it can be, I would say that we would wait a little bit more uh, so that we can produce higher quality. It is a very high risk because uh, if it gets rainy, then we can lose all of it. The vineyards of Tokai in northeastern Hungary produce a wine that has been the stuff of legends for centuries. Popes, kings and royal dynasties have all raved about this extraordinary sweet wine, Tokai. It's really difficult to put it into words, but we are creating something so that um we are creating a unique wine specialty, so that I think that is something big. It was the wine of kings and the king of wines to French King Louis XIV. German poet Johann Wolfgang von Goethe was also a fan, as was Russian Empress Catherine the Great. With some 5,500 hectares under cultivation, this wine region is relatively small. The history behind it, though, is much bigger. The Degenfeld family's wine estate is part of it. Mate Tot has managed it since 1994, continuing a 150-year-old family tradition. It's very important for us to keep the traditional uh, uh, wines, the, the traditional technology, the traditional varieties and the traditional setup, but also introduce all the modern technology which became available uh, uh, since, uh, since the 90s. Typical of the Tokai Hills is the morning fog. This type of climate creates the ideal conditions for this wine. The dampness rising from nearby rivers and the generally mild temperatures of autumn favor the Botrytis fungus, or noble rot, infecting the grapes. This is noble rot and not rot. There is a huge difference between. Because of the Botrytis, our grapes uh, get concentrated and the quality increases day by day if the Botrytis uh, can grow. So this is something that is good and we are waiting for it. No other wine or grape harvest demands as much work as the Tokai. Every grape has to be picked individually because the Botrytis ripens at different times. The grapes don't all shrivel down to raisin-like asu berries at once. When the Botrytis uh, starts to grow, then we go in the vineyard and we pick the asus and then we wait and we pick again and again. So usually we can go two to three times, depending on the vintage itself. Later, the concentrated juice of the sweet asu grapes will be mixed with a base wine and poured into wooden barrels for aging. A unique feature of the region's wine cellars is their walls, which are covered with a fungus. The most important job it does, it's an indicator. This mold likes the same exact climate, uh, the same exact temperature, humidity, and especially the, the, the continuity of this climate, which is the best for the aging of sweet wine. The Tokai wine ages in the cask for at least two years. Many of the wines remain drinkable for up to 100 years. Connoisseurs have paid thousands of euros for special vintages. We even have it in our hymn, as uh, it is said that the nectar, the natural essencia, which is coming from the asu berries, uh, it, is, it is also mentioned. So I would say that uh, it is our nation and our history. Tokai is a special wine with a unique history and a promising future.